Thanks for staying with us. More people rely on technology to help them do their jobs. This week, Warner Robins Police added a new tech system to their inventory. Megan Western explains how it's helping the city meet one of their project goals. Friday, the sound of dribbling basketballs amplified throughout the North Houston Sports Complex. My son is a senior at Warner Robins High School, and I always vowed that until he goes to the next level, I'm going to stay in shape. Lewis Haywardell says the complex is one of the area's nicest. It ain't nowhere else in middle Georgia got multiple courts. Normally in the morning, courts are empty, limiting unsafe interactions. Even if it was a lot of people, I, I, don't, I don't feel unsafe. Not in Warner Robins. Warner Robins is a pretty, pretty safe city. Now, city police are working to keep people feeling this way. They're bringing Verkata security cameras to the North Houston Rec, Ada Lee, Ferguson Memorial, Dolores Tolliver, and Ted Wright Parks. The plan is, as funds are become more available, to expand them. Chief Wayne Fisher says these places see the most weekend visitors and personal gatherings. And a lot of times when that does occur, we've had crime and other issues that have taken place. Bringing 360 degree surveillance and licensed tag reading cameras at entry points, it benefits the real time crime center, which includes other security systems like FUSIS. We will again look hopefully within the next six months to have that completed out. Once live, staff can feed patrol officers real time information at a scene and allow them to have more eyes on the city. We can at least start to be more proactive in addressing it and not wait for the incident to actually occur. Fisher says it could also act like an additional emergency management center, which he says should be a slam dunk with taxpayers. In Warner Robins, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Chief Fisher says as money becomes available, they plan to add cameras to other parks and city buildings. This week, they voted to spend nearly $800,000 for a 10-year license. Money came from COVID relief dollars. Making Bibb County uses the same security cameras around downtown. Last year, commissioners approved a $700,000 camera system from Verkata. Cameras span Carolyn Creighton Park, Spring Street, Riverwalk, and several blocks downtown. At the time, Mayor Lester Miller told us he wanted to install the cameras to keep people safe during big events like the Cherry Blossom Festival.